All right, everybody. This is going to be real rough here. Uh, I don't usually have a mic on me while I'm playing, but uh, we're going to test it out and see how it goes. Uh, I think and it would be better for this part of gaming, uh, just so I can explain what's going on for those of you who don't know um, about the game. We're going to be doing the DMZ today, uh, which is a multiplayer online version for Modern Warfare 2. Um, it replaces the old war zone. Uh, this portion of it, it's kind of like the war zone or a battle royale where you have a map, you go in and there's other players there. Uh, but the difference is, uh, for this one, there's also uh, NPCs or bots in there as well that, uh, are programmed to try to kill you if they spot you. Um, and try to just hamper you from doing whatever you want to do. Uh, for this one, you can do missions. If you're looking at my screen here, you can see that I have three missions selected. These are the first ones that they give you. Um, this is a starting out fresh level one character. Uh, I don't have anything for the DMZ, nothing at all. And uh, we're starting fresh to show you what it looks like. So uh, I have the settings for the three first missions. Um, I'm not going to have a squad fill. I'm going to do this solo uh, just to show you what's going on. And uh, I'm not really going to have a lot of voice comms. But in the game, when you spawn in, there are other player characters there. And they can choose to either be friendly or they can try to kill you. Um, you may hear me talk and say friendly sometimes when I'm in there. And that's my way to say to another player, hey, please don't try to kill me. Because when you're close enough to another player, uh, they can hear what you're saying, and you can communicate with them. You can, and you can actually join their squads uh, or invite them to a squad. Beyond the missions for this one, what you have are um, items that you can pick up in the game, and uh, if you're lucky enough to make it out of the map, uh, you keep whatever items that you are carrying. Um, I'll show you what I mean with that, because in the map, uh, whichever one you choose, there's a couple different ones. Uh, it's There's a time limit on it, so that once you get close to the end, uh, a gas cloud will expand onto the whole thing. And if you're still on the island when that gas cloud hits you and you can't get off, then you're pretty much dead and you lose whatever you carry. So uh, let's go ahead and deploy so I show you what's going on. Uh, we have Ashika Island. I am hopefully hoping that I am pronouncing that correctly. Um, Al Mazra, uh, and then there's a Building 21, which you can't access unless you get a Building 21 access card. Uh, those cards are random drops when you're playing the other two maps off of AIs or in containers that you come across. Um, I am going to go for Ashika Island. That's the smaller one. There's more chance that you're going to get killed because there's more people in a smaller space. And a lot of people are not friendly on here. So we're going to confirm that we're using these missions. We have one where you use your TAC map to ping a contract phone. Uh, find a contract phone and download the intel and successfully complete a contract. Hopefully we can do that. Uh, the second one. You need to ping five enemies, kill five enemies, and pick up one weapon in a deployment. The third one, open a cash register, acquire 10,000 in cash total, and exfiltrate from a deployment. So hopefully we can get all those finished in this first one here, but we'll see how it goes. I'm going to confirm those. And then you confirm your active duty um, operator. Uh, I'm going to hit edit so we can go through these. So you start off with one active duty operator uh, you can add other ones if you have operators in the game um, so right now we have looks like two operators uh, for the free game I'm sorry this is the free game by the way I didn't pay for any of this so if you don't want to pay you can still play it um, so it looks like I have two operators you pick one you pick which skin it comes with uh, let's just go with the group one for this. And now I have two operators. Um, 
we're going to go with that one. So I pick my operator. Uh, you always get a small backpack. Uh, it looks like it's starting us out with some contraband, as they call it, in the game. Um, looks like I have four. And then for an insured slot, you can add any weapon that you have unlocked. So we're just going to add the M4 to this one. And what happens with this is, if you go in with this and then you lose it because you die and you lose your gear, you can get this back. I believe it isn't an hour. We'll find out once I lose it, but it takes an hour for it to come back. Then you can pick it again uh, and go in. Otherwise, if you don't have an insured slot available and you don't have any contraband, then you're not going to be able to go in with a weapon and you're going to have to fight with your fists, which sounds fun. So let's go in with the insured one. I'm going to change the shotgun to... Oh, let's go with the submachine gun. Uh, my tactical, I'm going to switch to... Well, actually, I don't have anything unlocked, so we're just going to keep with the flash grenade. Um, I'm going to go with the proximity mine because I like proximity mines. And the only one we have is... Well, let's see, the deployable cover, recon drone, and a suppression mine. I'm going to go with the suppression mine just to give it a chance. Okay, so... We have our loadouts. We're going to go back. Oh, um, let me just go here. For the gear information, it'll it'll tell you like if you get stuff from your deployments uh, to fill these slots and you keep them, it, it'll show up here when you go in. So we have a, a backpack, which you can have a medium backpack, a large backpack, and a couple of special ones. Um, this is for your um, kill streak. Uh, this is for your vest, for your armor, uh, if you have a gas mask, and this is your self-revive. So if you get downed, uh, hopefully you can revive yourself and get back in. So this is what we're starting with. I'm going to go ahead and confirm it and hit the matchmaker, and we're going to wait and jump in. Um, let's see how it goes. Also, I'm not on something with live chat, so if you're expecting me to interface with other people that are chatting, um, not on that yet, because I don't really have a lot of viewers that watch as far as I know. Um, so there's no one to talk to. I guess I could make it up, but that'd be pretty weird. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll just wake it up, make it up. Who knows? Okay, so uh, these items that I just opened uh, that are outlined, usually you can open them unless they're locked for some reason. Uh, but this one is open, uh, and it shows you up here what's in there. Uh, I don't really want the recon drone because it's going to replace my suppressor. I don't want to keep my suppressor, but I did get a plate. And these armor plates are what they use for your protection uh, beyond your health. Uh, so down here, uh, let's see if I can... Down here, it'll show you in this area above this white line, your plate. So I have a one plate vest, and that shows that my plate is at full. Um, if you get a three plate vest, it'll show it in purple, uh, which is always the goal, is to have that three plate vest. So um, let me show you what the map looks like here. So this is the map where we're at, this small island. Um, this is my spawning area. And uh, for those that don't know, again, uh, it'll show you on the map uh, vehicles that are around. You got your boats, you got your SUVs. Um, it shows you the basic building structures, uh, and it'll tell you information when you go over the icons. Uh, so 
these ones are strongholds, which you need keys to get into, and those are usually heavily guarded. There's a lot of cool stuff in them, but uh, they're difficult to get through because there's a lot of AI. Uh, I am going to try to loot around this shipwreck and then pick up this um, contract right here. I'm actually going to click on it to ping it, which I believe is one of the missions. Uh, it is, so it popped up on the right there to tell me that I completed that part. So now we're going to loot around and then go over and try to finish that. Okay, so some of these items here, when you notice, it'll have uh, a price tag on it. Uh, when you go to buy stations, and on the map, they look like these little shopping carts. You can sell here that stuff there, and then try to buy other gear with it. Uh, and depending on what the buy station has is what you can buy. I'm going to switch out for that sniper rifle. And I think there was some sniper ammo. Let's go ahead and get that. Okay, this cache is locked, which you'll find uh, some places around here that have locks. Uh, those keys drop randomly, uh, either from AI or from other um, loot boxes. So you have to find them. And hopefully, uh, if you don't use them on that deployment, you can exfil with them without getting killed. Because if you have it and you die, then you lose everything. So talking about that. If I hit tab, I'll show you. So I have a small backpack, which you always have. So even if you die, you don't lose that. But when you die, you drop everything that you have. Uh, all this here, and then your guns and your armor plate. Uh, those will drop, as well as if you have a gas mask, a self-revive, and a UAV. Um, everything will drop, and uh, you'll end the game, and you'll lose all of that permanently. So hopefully that doesn't happen on this. Okay, let's go over here and try to find this contract. And hopefully there is no one here to give us problems. Oh, bags. Okay, so here's one of the, this is what the key looks like. So this is for a building in the other map. Um, I'm going to leave that here because we're not really concerned about that right now. We're just going to try to see if there's better information. Oh, and this is the contract. So let's pick that up. OK, so I need to locate a weapons raid stash. And that is where it is on the map. So we'll ping that, and we're going to start to head over that way. And we have bots. As you can see, they drop things, and there are more... Oh, there's a lot up there. We're going to run away. I'm going to swim into the water here, and I'm going to add a plate to my armor vest.
Usually they don't follow you in the water. So that's why I go that way. Ultra One, you're less than a hundred meters from the target area. Stay alert. I try to give these buildings a wide berth when they have the flags on them because they're usually strongholds and sometimes there's a lot of bots around to protect it. But it, I don't really see any right now. Uh, we may not be able to finish that because that looks like that might be inside the stronghold. And I don't think I can get into that. Oh, looks like I can. All right. Ah, two plate vest. Awesome. So now we have upgraded armor. Add another plate to that. Hopefully there's no one down here. Ultra one, be advised, enemy attack helo is heading your way. Oh, we have to drill this. Awesome. So now that means people are gonna be coming in while we're drilling it, so. Let's get ready for a fight. I'll throw a proximity mine here. Oh. stuff here so let's drop this suppressor here see if we can pick up some items replate and we're running out of ammo Hopefully we can pick up one here. Switch guns. Ooh, a three plate vest and a large backpack. Nice. Let's get them plates in there. And this is what a key looks like on the ground. Pick up that guy. Let's see what else we have going on here. We got more money, good. More plates. Close 
close that door. Let's see what we have here. Wow, a lot of stuff in this one. Double check to make sure I didn't miss anything. I'll right click on this and stow the backpack in there and see if I can keep that. Oh, and the armor box, which is going to have plates. Okay, let's get out of here. Making a run for it. We're going to pass all that. Don't care about it right now, just trying to get out. Oh, I totally forgot. I should have been pinging enemies. Let's see if we can circle around and find a couple of them here. Okay, there's one. So basically, I'm just hitting the ping button when I'm aiming at them, and it'll mark them for you. Enemy special forces here. Two more should be good. Oh, they saw me. One. Okay. Now I'm going to go hide closer to the water and then figure out where we're going next. try to head over here to this buy station and see if we can sell some stuff and I'm gonna head to that vehicle so that we can travel there faster If you're looking at my screen and wondering what that timer is, that timer is when the gas starts to spread. And then once that gas starts to spread, you'll have a certain amount of time to get out. So if I look on the map, this area is where the gas is going to start from. I'm going to run over here and try to buy some stuff from the station and then head over to this blue guy for the exfil to get out. Um, on the way, hopefully I can open a cash register because that's all I need to finish this one. And then we need to get out. So let me ping this again. Marking by station. And then let's head over here. As you can see, since I pinged it, that icon is there and it tells me how far away it is. Slow down and make sure there's no bots around. Okay. Ultra One, be advised, winds are picking up. Move to an extreme. 
extraction point. Oh, forgot to reload on the way. So let's do that. That glowing thing on the left there is a place where you can attach stuff to your weapons. If you have the money. Alright, let's sell. I'm gonna get some armor plates, a self revive, and a gas mask. Because we're gonna need that. Now we need to find a cash register. Actually, let's see. Is this close to. We're going to go back the other way, because I know around the beach club there's a cash register. So we're going to go the long way to get to the Xville, and hopefully we can stop at the cash register and get there before the gas kills us. Actually, the map probably should went the other way, but hey, what are you going to do? Here. So I believe there is a cash register there. The cash Only register. Alright, let's get back out of here. Where it is. There it is. Okay. We got 20 seconds before the gas starts spreading, so let's make it to that Xville. And hopefully, no one's going to try to kill us there. Oh, low fuel. Okay. Let's head over here. This guy, oh shoot, there's guys there. Ultra one, actual radiation is spreading through the area. Oh no, 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 no. They saw me. Okay, now we got problems. it out now. So I'm heading towards that green smoke at the top of my screen there. That is where the exfil is. Concerned about anything else that is happening, just getting out. So, what we're going to do is run up near the gas, call in the helicopter, and then we're going to have to wait for the helicopter to get here, and then we can board it. And hopefully, there's not going to be too many bots that come around Ultra while we're waiting, but sometimes they will run in. We're racing radiation. It's gonna be close. 
Looks like we have a good lead on the radiation, so that's nice. see any bots. Hopefully there's no players hiding ready, waiting to kill us. Okay. I'm gonna guess mess. I'm gonna grab a couple. Looks like we are going to make it out successfully. Awesome. So everything that's down here on the bottom besides the armor plates we're going to be able to keep, um, including the weapons. Uh, the other stuff is going to get added to our extra items. Completed all three missions, so we get all those rewards. Awesome. As you can see, the cash value extracted, uh, that gives you a time. I know it went by pretty fast. Um, but it counts that. And all this other stuff gets counted towards it to your total XP. And then you get a time, which reduces the time on your insured weapon. So if you die in your insured weapon... Uh, is gone because you have died, then it reduces this by 34 minutes, 43 seconds. And the more you get, the more it reduces it, so you don't have to wait that long. So let's go ahead and leave. And we didn't quite get one, but we did get some trophies. I'll show you what to do with those in a second here. Ranked up to level 7. Nice. And these are your weapon ranks. Um, they'll give you different attachments when you level it up so that you can customize the weapon. Okay. So, um, we're going to go to active duty at the top here. Uh, so, as you can see, I have this three plate vest. Uh, this gas mask and the self revive and a large backpack. So that's all is going to go with me the next time in. Um, I did get this stronghold key. I'm going to hit R and unequip it um, because I don't want to take it on the next mission. But let's open it up. And so I have two keys. I have a crash site weapon case and a stronghold key that I picked up somewhere. And... What else do I have? So we got out with that marksman's rifle, so now that is added. And yeah, it is one minute. So I mean, it's a one hour. It is one hour for the cooldown. Uh, so that starts all over again. And I have that large backpack. So pretty good first run through. And we got that operator up. Now these these items do not um, get transferred to your different operators. So if you start off with a new operator, uh, you do not get the items that another operator escaped with so I start off with a small backpack but you do you can use the contraband weapons and the items in your stash for a new operator if you would like um, battle pass so the battle pass you get tokens you got this little map I'm starting here in C1 and once you get tokens you can purchase the items in here um, and you have to purchase the first one, then you can get the second, third, all the way to that. So, um, I don't know how many tokens it takes to get the entirety of it, but that's what I need to do. Uh, customize is where if you have calling cards, emblems, and, uh, skins for vehicles, you can add them here. The events tab. 
this is what you do with your trophies. So, um, when you get enough trophies, you can buy these, and the price shows uh, guns, calling cards, emblems, tokens, all kinds of different items here. And I think they change. Um, but it looks like, as of now, there's only four days left uh, for the trophies. I don't know what's going to happen after that. I guess we'll see in four days. And then the last thing is your store, where you can buy uh, items and bundles that gives you weapons and skins. Uh, looks like right now there's a free bundle, so let's see if we can find that. Gift pack. All right. So we'll click on that, and it is War Tracks for Cinco de Mayo. Let's go ahead and purchase that. I'm not going to show what that sounds like on this because of copyright issues. I don't want to get uh, tagged by YouTube or wherever else I post on for having proprietary sounds. And that is it. That is our first trip through. Very successful. And um, hopefully if this becomes popular or I have time, we'll do more videos on this as it goes. Uh, see you next time.